Okay, we're going to take a, a quick look around Windows 8.1. This is my desktop, obviously, in Windows 8.1 that I've configured to suit my own requirements. I've pinned uh, shortcuts to programs that I use more, most frequently to the taskbar here, and I've created desktop shortcuts for user folders and those programs that I access less frequently. The only difference really between the Windows 8.1 desktop and Windows 8 is the start button here down in this bottom left hand corner. In Windows 8 this was hidden by default and uh, required a mouse over in this area to reveal it in Windows 8.1, Microsoft decided in its infinite wisdom to make it permanently displayed. Now, uh, ironically, just just this morning, I, I read a headline on a on a tech blog that said how to hide the Windows 8.1 start button. So uh, some people are never are never satisfied. How we can access the infamous charms bar simply by moving the mouse cursor over one of the right hand corners I'm on the bottom right hand corner and there we can see the charms bar ridiculous name settings devices start search etc and in the bottom left hand corner if we right click there we can access all these terrific shortcuts to some of the system areas Okay, let's pop on over to the start screen and have a look there. We just click on the start button. <clears throat> now all these little boxes are what's known as tiles. They are effectively shortcuts and they re reflect the shortcuts that you've just seen on the desktop plus any other shortcuts that you want to put on here. It, it's totally up to the individual. You can have as many or as few as you like. It's highly customizable. Um, we can sort the shortcuts into various categories, name them accordingly. <clears throat> we can move the shortcuts or tiles around, sort them in any order we like. A right click will open up a resize menu with options for wide, medium and small. All mine are set to medium at the moment. Um, a this down arrow here takes us to a list of all everything that's installed, all installed programs including all installed apps, programs and system tools and utilities. Everything that's installed on the computer is accessible here and these are all shortcuts of course. Let's go back to the... Now if you can't find anything you can use the Windows search feature. Just start typing in a search term, we'll just start typing in Windows updates, oops, bit of a typo there, Windows updates, and the results pop up almost immediately, Windows update settings, check for updates, and there's the actual Windows update, just click on whichever one of those you are looking for. While we're here I'll, I'll show you how easy it is to access the store we just click on the store shortcut here and we come up with the store logo and a search box over here let's just type in free games click on the result there all free games and there we get a catalog of every free game that's available through the Windows Store. As you can see there are literally hundreds of them. Installation of these games is very simple. We just highlight the game that we want to uh, install, click on it and there'll be an install button and everything's done automatically for you. Now close out of these apps we just move the mouse cursor right to the top of the screen until it turns into a hand and then just press the click the left button and drag down. Easy as that. 
Now I just want to go over this transition between desktop and start screen once again. If we hover down in this left hand corner here we can go back to the desktop by clicking back on the start button or we can just click on the tile or the desktop shortcut and go back to the desktop. Now that's the transition, the process that's been described by Windows 8 detractors as being a jarring experience. Well there was just nothing jarring about that whatsoever. That transition is fluid and almost instantaneous. Okay, well that's our short look at uh, Windows 8.1. I, I hope it helps those who have not yet had the opportunity to have a look at the new operating system.